TravelJoy reporting provides quick, easy, sortable, and searchable access to a wealth of information about your commissions, deposits, and more. In this TravelJoy tutorial, we'll show you how to navigate the various reports available in TravelJoy. To get started, go to your Commissions and Sales reporting by clicking on Reports, then Commissions and Sales. The first page you'll see is your summary. If you're an agency owner, it will contain a bit more information like this, but for most agents, it will be a little bit simpler like this. The information shown on this page is just a summary and all information is calculated based on the booking date you've entered for each item that you've invoiced. If you've left the booking date blank for certain items, those items will not be added to these numbers. The top section shows year-to-date numbers by default, but can be modified using the date box on the right. The bottom section shows monthly numbers for the most recent 12 months. The other two sections of this reporting, details and payments, should be thought of in terms of an invoice. The details report covers every item you've added to the item list at the top of your invoices, while the payments report covers every payment you've added to the payment schedule at the bottom of your invoices. Let's start with details. This report is also filtered by the booking date by default, and you can use the dropdown to filter by trip start date, commission expected date, and commission collected date. From there, you can choose a date range. Once you're looking at the right data, you can click on any column header to sort by that column. For example, sorting by collected agent commission is a good way to see which commissions have already been paid and which ones are still due in this date range. Anything with a pencil icon can be edited directly on this page, so if you've recently collected a specific commission payment, you can click the pencil icon for that item, add the details, and then click Update. This change is applied automatically. Two more things to note on the details report. You can export this report to a spreadsheet or a printed file using the buttons at the top left, and you can search using the box at the top right. The search box is very useful for searching by a specific trip, group, or vendor name. As you can see, by searching Hilton, I've displayed all items where the supplier is Hilton, which allows me to quickly see the total sales I've had with this supplier during the listed date range. Next, the Payments Report allows you to review and edit your payments across all invoices. First, you'll choose whether to view only unpaid payments, paid payments, or all payments. Then you'll choose whether to sort by the payment due date or other options and choose your date range. In the results, you can see all relevant payments, their description, status, and more. Much like the details report, anywhere you see a pencil icon is an opportunity to edit. Let's say, for example, that this payment was accidentally marked as paid and you need to change it back to unpaid. To do this, click the pencil icon, change the status, and then remove the paid date since this no longer applies. Now click Update and you'll see that these changes have been saved. Also much like the details report, you can export or print the payments report and you can use the search box to filter your search results. In this case, typing final payment shows all payments with that same description, regardless of which trip or group they're part of, allowing you to see who still owes on their invoices from within the state range. The other two TravelJoy reports will only contain information if you've enabled and used the direct invoice feature, as they're designed to help you understand and track your direct payments. First, the direct payments report shows every scheduled direct payment within the date range you've chosen, filtered by paid or unpaid, along with information about processing fees and payout status. This is the best place to start if you want to know who still owes you a payment, and when you want to understand when to expect a specific payout. Next, the bank transfers report is the place to go when you want to understand exactly what is included in a specific deposit. On this report, you'll see each deposit into your bank account, along with a breakdown that includes which client payments are part of that payout and whether any disputes or refunds were removed from that payout. If you're looking for a specific payment, type the invoice number into the search box to filter out everything else. While our reports are designed to keep the details of your business at your fingertips, nobody knows your business better than you. You may have ideas on how we can make reporting even better, and we want to hear from you. Using the blue support button at the bottom right corner of TravelJoy, please feel free to make suggestions regarding our reporting tools or any part of TravelJoy. We look forward to hearing from you.